All right, welcome back. As I mentioned in some of my other videos, it was a big week of buying while I was on vacation. I'm going to be opening up this uh, this knife with the Demco 8020.5 OS 10A and Grivery, just a standard uh, Demco there. But everyone seems to ask when they see these videos, what the heck is that cool knife? Um, so let's get into it. Love the shark's foot blade shape. It's by far my favorite EDC shape of any knife I've ever used. And having owned over 100 knives, probably approaching 200 plus at this point, um, you know, I think there's uh, quite a bit of user experience in there to say that that's a pretty, pretty special one. So let's see what we got here. Interesting packaging on this one. Let's get into it. Let's see. I'm going to carefully remove this here. There we go. Ah, look, it's your brother. So why did I get this one? Well, when I posted my Demco collection video, one of the things I left out was the fact that they do make a serrated version and i'd never gotten my hands on one and thought it'd be really cool to get one and be able to share that with you and let you know it existed i i don't know that these are available anymore to be honest so if you really see this and you get all excited to go, go out and get one uh be warned i don't i didn't see one available when i did a quick search i'd seen a couple websites that had them but showed them out of stock now and uh, yeah, it's pretty rare. So this one, unfortunately, the seller uh, did um, sell the, or, or get rid of the box. So I'll have to maybe track down a, a, a like box for it, um, but that's not a big deal. And um, yeah, it's really cool. I actually am not like a big serrated knife guy, which is why I never ended up putting one in the collection initially, but when someone brought that up, I was like, you know what? I would really like to track one down and see how Demco did it. And I'm pretty impressed. Like it is a really nice, It's I like how it has like this little end that you could use non-serrated too. For me personally, I'd probably go like to here, maybe even halfway. Um, but it's just like, I mean, aside from the fact that I have an aftermarket clip on it, just like this guy in every other way, um, but serrated, still lost 10 a still made in Taiwan. Um, but a really neat variant that, uh, I think is pretty rare to be honest. Um, just going to guess cause I haven't really seen anyone else that's selling it. So it's cool to get it out in the collection. Again, I got to track down like a, a box for it and stuff, but, um, that's easy enough cause these are all fairly similar. This one was like lightly used and you can see a little confirmation of that inside here. So let's get that cleaned out a little bit while we're at it. Um, but it's in really good shape. Like the blade is immaculate. So that's good to see. Um, so I was super stoked. I saw, I found this one on bladeforums.com, pre-owned obviously. And uh, I jumped on it right away when I saw it on there. So appreciate the seller that let this one go. But it was one of those, like, you know, I've got a lot of variants. And someone called it out. And I was like, you know what? I don't have that variant. And it would be really neat to have, given my Demco session, my obsession of Demcos. Um, so, yeah, really... Uh, Stoked to have it. There's not a lot to say about this, uh, aside from you get the great shark lock. It's the gray grivery. I don't know that they made it in any other colors. And uh, it's generally the same knife that we've been used to. I do notice that because they, uh, because they, um, you know, only have it grinded on one side, they did even on this part up here, do a uh, chisel grind so it's quite a bit longer on the grind up there than what you'd see on a factory edge or not a factory edge but a 
a standard edge. So that's kind of cool. You got that long chisel grind up there. It's pretty neat. Let's get that cleaned off, by the way. Again, it was uh, lightly used by the seller. Carried a little bit. And it does have a little gunk on there, but that's not a big deal. Kind of curious, uh, look, you don't normally maybe take a serrated edge and use, you know, a standard paper cutting test on it, but let's we'll see if I can, I don't have any good paper, unfortunately, either, so that's unfortunate. I don't have, like, a full size, but kind of curious how that gets into it. And also, how well they did that chisel grind in the front. Pretty well. Again, this is a user, so serrated user still gets in there no problem i'm just gonna plunge cut it and yeah that's cool so it's a nice nice edge in there still um even though it's serrated obviously not a standard test for a serrated knife but uh kind of fun to give it a little go there So yeah, excited to have that one in the collection. I don't think there's a whole lot more to report aside from the fact that it's here. So uh, appreciate you stopping by. Please like, subscribe. Feel free to let everyone know if you know where one of these is available because I got a feeling some folks might be interested there. And uh, we will see you on the next one. Take care.